Kanji Tatsumi and his wife. Oh, what the? I swear my wife has been messing with my scripts again. I do like Kanji though, not in a romantic way, I think. He's the second victim we rescued from the TV world, and he's capable of standing on his face. With that, here are my reasons why Kanji Tatsumi is wife, husband, whatever. For starters, Kanji's a real tough guy, and the epitome of manliness, with legend saying that he once fended off an entire biker gang all by himself. That and while well, he kinda even beat up his own shadow. <laughs> Believe it, I think he just beat up his own shadow. Mind you, the gang could barely put a dent on these guys, who seem to actually be enjoying it. No, that feels good. Oh, no! In combat, he's actually strong, being one of the top physical hitters in the game, using a is that a steel chair? His persona itself is super buff, plus it has a skull on it. Appearance-wise, Kanji is the only blonde in the game. That is until Teddy grew a human inside of him via sit-ups. When wearing the standard school uniform, he likes to hang his jacket around his shoulders like a cape. And to help him stand out, he wears a purple shirt with a skull and crossbones on it. So cool. Oh, and don't forget all the piercings on his face and ears. So punk. Kanji is sometimes oblivious, especially when you jokingly hit on him. Hey, who are you looking forward to seeing in a swimsuit, senpai? Oh, mine's nothing special. Crotchery is thin and built for speed, so... Hold it right there! Speaking of swimsuits, one of my favorite moments of Kanji in the Golden Anime was when he lost a swimsuit and they tried to pass him off as the birth of Venus. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to be born, damn it! <laughs> Whatever else, it's giving me an itch. Oh, Kanji. During Persona 4 Arena, he went through the entire story thinking he was just in a dream, beating up everybody in his way, including the girls. You didn't pull any of your punches? Beat me up, you just left me there. He even asked Naoto to call him by just his first name, Pretty much a full-blown confession in Japanese culture. Kanji-kun? I mean, um, Kanji. No! I take it all back! Sometimes it can also paint him in an innocent light, like when you got snowed in with one of your waifus. Whoa, hey, senpai? Senpai? Are you serious? Huh? They're still dressed. Why would they take off their clothes in this freezing weather? And dude, why are you guys so flustered? What is up with you guys? Do I really have to spell it out for you? Although slow on the uptake, he's quick to rush into action, acting faster than his mouth. Here, I found the dude for what you. What the hell? Let me go! An impulsiveness and gung-ho attitude that we really enjoy. Just like that time when Yosuke kept grilling him about swinging a certain way. I'm gonna walk over and sleep in the girls' tent! They've got more balls than you! For some girls, that is true. Persona! When the boys needed to enter the cross-dressing pageant, Kanji went all out for it, claiming that he doesn't want to be the ugly chick. If I'm doing it, I won't be the ugly chick! Spoiler alert, it didn't pan out well for him. He does not make a pretty girl! Oh. Persona! As seen by his Midnight Channel segment, Kanji is kinda... Okay, fine, he's really gay. Or at least just that side of him is, and he doesn't remember the half of it. Even his voice actor had this to say. Kanji was clearly gay. Clearly gay. I mean the fear of ridicule from others is what really drives Kanji to put up such a manly facade all this time. Kanji eventually comes to accept it all, portraying one of the most convincing self-acceptance scenes in Persona 4. It ain't about men or women. I'm just scared shitless of being made fun of. I'm nothing but a big old coward who spends most his time pushing people away. Look, I already knew that you existed. You're me and I'm you. That isn't some major revelation. Although it's hilarious when Yosuke keeps poking fun at him. Well, I guess I'm into the mysterious type. Girls that come across as strong, but deep down there. Wonder who that could be? I think girls suck. Hey, he's kind of mysterious. Say that again! Teddy does have his moments to Kanji too, like when he unknowingly asked him to suck face in the club. And when he gave Kanji the gag glasses. In the end, Teddy did come up with a cool pair of shades for Kanji. So is this what you're looking for? <laughs> I can rock these. Persona! It's no secret that Kanji has the hots for Naoto Shiragane, whether as a girl or a guy. Kanji often blushes just at the sight of Naoto, especially when asked about her measurements. Naoto, big melons or not? What? What the hell are you asking me? I, I didn't look at her tits, I swear! Okay. Most of the time, we can see Kanji paired up with Naoto, some kind of subtle hint by the game. That's probably why it really confused me that he chose Chie when they snuck into the girls' room. I'm gonna prove to you that I am into chicks too. I'm begging you, Chie. Please be gentle. You didn't pick Naoto? <clears throat> Even Yosuke was confused. Kanji has a very outspoken personality, who often speaks his mind and doesn't back down to no one. A rebellious attitude, expertly voiced by a pair of industry legends that is Troy Baker, 
was pretty much in every game, while the other is Matt Mercer who notably voiced Yusuke in Persona 5 and one of the JoJo's. This type of attitude is why the police is always keeping an eye on him. While he is rebellious, he still has a profound respect for honorifics. Being the youngest in the group, he always addresses everybody in their proper senpai title. This also means that he's not old enough to get his motorcycle license, but that would never stop a real man. Kanji on a bike absolutely defies the laws of physics, capable of keeping up or even overtaking scooters while on a regular bicycle. I'm not sure how Teddy goes that fast on roller skates either. As the manliest team member, Kanji operates as the team's protector slash enforcer, often protecting our favorite waifus. Starting with Risei, he chased off her stalker thinking he was the killer. Slow the hell down you twerp so that I can pummel your scrawny ass! Yeah! I'm just your average resent loving fanboy! There's nothing average about murdering people, douchebag! Ah! Then later on, he stood firm between Yukiko and her stalker, Mitsuo. How dare you! The hell are you? What do you want with Yukiko? Lastly, even protecting Naoto during combat. Oh, you're wondering about Che? Well, she doesn't need help from anybody, cause she's a tough girl. In Persona 4 Dancing, Kanji is one of the more, uh, passionate dancers. No question. In the intro, we already see him doing some sick breakdancing moves, and his in-game dance moves are, how do I put this, epic. Oh my god, please stop. Despite the tough outer shell, Kanji secretly maintains feminine hobbies and is a real softie on the inside. You say oh, something Oh, so fluffy! <sighs> I like cute stuff as much as the next guy, but Kanji takes it to a whole nother level with his extreme sewing skills. Since Kanji's family owns a textile shop, he uses the materials to make cute plushy characters that really appeal to children and makes their day. I think he even started selling them at some point. Unlike our other waifus, Kanji's a really good cook, especially when he makes croquettes. And that time he uh, made you a valentine's gift? It was designed perfectly after Teddy. As a foodie, he's a huge fan of popsicles and don't forget his epic search for the rare animal cracker. What the? Those are mine! Damn it! I was so pumped about finding the penguin today. So what do you think about Kanji? Would you help him find the rare penguin animal cracker? Be sure to leave a like and comment what you think about Kanji Tatsumi, our manliest party member. <laughs>